السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم في قناتي السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I come in with this reaction the throne of Allah wait and mind blowing I see this video like many times and I see like many 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 who are they not Muslim make reaction about this video and who they all be like have question and be, be surprising and be shocked and be like 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 you already see them but but if this video will change the mind of who they are not Muslim. I am Muslim, Alhamdulillah. I'm do my Salat uh, five times in one day. And Alhamdulillah. So this, this question, I want to make it to who watching me now. This show you the throne of Allah. Like have, like, if you see the earth and the throne of Allah, it is nothing like mean nothing to the throne of Allah. Like, this life, it is like like this. Nothing. If you see the throne of Allah, you will forget a life here. It is like nothing. For someone are like so coming like they are asking them how they lovers there how they are like, like the, the dunya the dunya in me like they are not see her like like with like something big or something that mean to be big like 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 I am saying like. so let's make this a reaction my Twitter my Instagram it is here uh, follow me free my patron it is in below with my paper if, if, if for donation for this channel to go so let's see this video and make the memories like up again like wake up yeah wait And if you are if you are here new, subscribe, share this video, like, comment, give it love, and don't forget smile. In this life, it is need to be smile. Allah. Allah. All praises to Allah, who is the author of all existence and the most generous to his creation, while he is also the all compelling. He is the only one worthy of our worship, having no partners, no associates, no sons, no daughters, no one whom he must consult, and no one or anything which has any comparison with him. All the praise is for Allah, who is the king of all who claim some. I stop here, and when I am here in land, what does this mean? Soon and life and everything will go on. I feel like so painful for other like they not know that maybe they see that video and just uh, move on like make a reaction just for views for subscriber for i don't know i don't know how they are working but this 
for me it is about learning everything do any reaction I want as I am I will not do reaction as they are told me do this like forcing me like I'm said it's my choice so it is your choice to see my video to subscribe and to like or to not subscribe or to not like or to not watch all my video so that's what I'm talking about so let's see the only one who has the right to legislate for his creatures he is the giver of life he is the causer of death while death has no effect upon him because he is the ever living the self subsisting the eternal and the absolute all the praise is for Allah, who has power over all things, and there is in reality no power and no strength, no influence to cause benefit or detriment except through Him. It is He who created. You know, they say power words. When you have this feeling inside you and you have this power in you and you want to change something, some thought in anything. This man, uh, he's bad, he do this, he smoke, he taking weed, he taking drug or something like this. You get me? But why not go to be with him and ask him? what happened and why you are smoke why you are taking weed? why you are do that or why you are doing that to be close to him you will change here something and you will get me if you are thinking what this means this complex world the seen and the unseen the evident and the speculative the earth and all that is on it and everything that is in it. It is he who sent his messengers and prophets alayhi salam with the common message of strict monotheism which simply means that there is absolutely no one worthy of worship no one worthy of our obedience except the almighty the one, the absolute and who has no partner. The earlier messages which changed the world in the area in which the prophets were sent, those messages we know have changed. And even the prophets who brought them, their names are now lost. We just know in general because Allah told us in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا أَنْ اللَّهُ I've sent to every nation a messenger, calling people to worship Allah alone and to avoid the worship of false gods. And for this all, they are watching this video, make a reaction about this, and maybe they are touching, or they are maybe thinking. Just so something, one question, I will just say it. This body and this dunya, this life, you, we are living in it now. Where from come? Where from come? You thinking it is coming like this? Something already I didn't give you it or something like already I give you like this. Uh, you are when you see this video. Just think the dunya where from come your life where from come you where from you come. Just thinking that, and you will know. This essential message has been preserved in Islam in a way that it was never preserved before. Not because the message was different, because it was the same message. 
but because of the fact that there would be no other prophet who would come yeah. after Muhammad sallallahu <laughs> So therefore that message now had to be protected. It had to be preserved in a way none of the earlier messages were preserved. And the latest, what you say, you have come to know 40 years back. And what you call him? I forgot his name, but um, I feel bad when he they are stop his everything what he's doing in Malaysia and go to give him to India and people there, and that's so touching. You see, see your brother Muslim like that, giving um, without reason. You just speaking words and speaking on the truth to others and you are do bad and you are do something wrong because you are talking the right and that's Big Bang is already mentioned in the book which I read the glorious Quran it's mentioned 1400 years ago in Surah Ambiya Chapter number 21, verse number 30, which says, Avalam yaral lazina kafuru. Do not the unbelievers see. Anna samawati wal arda. Kaan zarab kan satna huma. That the heavens and the earth were joined together and we chose them asunder. What you're talking about, the Big Bang, I try to imagine compressing a spring. I quickly. So. Closer and closer and closer together, but smaller and smaller and smaller. And I stored a tremendous amount of energy in that spring. And when we let it go, it bursts out, it bursts out, it bursts out. The creation of the universe, which you came to know 40 years back, is already mentioned in this book, the glorious Quran, 1400 years ago. Who could have mentioned that in the Quran? So they just will say, maybe someone wrote, maybe it's a book, maybe it's a dead book. A human being, regardless of who they are, or where they are, or what they do, will have this curiosity they want to know why am I here? Well, how did I get here? And do I have a purpose? In this, this is what I was talking before in the first. Why you are here in first place? What, where you from come? Fi and my, you know? We all have at this, all this. Why be virgin? Why be? I be control myself. Because that's so much. So much. Like taking hard work to control myself to be not do these things because I don't want to do me, I don't want a life, I want to do the other, the last after life. Away. The only one who would really be able to answer that question would be the Creator Himself. If there is a creator, it would be up to him to tell us why we were created and what he expects from us and what this life is really about. Allah has shown the people from the time of Adam until right now has shown the people what he wants from them. And it's a very simple thing. And that is that worship be for him alone without any partner. That's all. Like I'm saying, you will know. He doesn't want to pray for to be to be a test from Almighty God. That's why we are born. That's and why, that's why we die. die. Because there has to be a beginning and an end for us else. to be tested on. The next life after this life, no one will ever die in this Holy. life. After this life, no one will ever die again. A bad person or a good person, both are brought back and they continue to live in the next life, either in good shape or not so good shape, depending on how they get on themselves. Test. The worship of the God of Abraham, that was what was taught by yeah. these prophets. The Lord of the earth is going to say, we're talking about the Lord of the world. We're talking about the Lord of the entire universe and beyond. The entire universe and beyond. You know, we live in this dunya. 
And we are fascinated with this dunya which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed has created in a beautiful manner. We're fascinated. There are over billions of people which live on this dunya at this moment in time. Over six billion people that live on the dunya at this moment in time. This dunya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so big that there is space in this dunya for billions and billions and billions of more people. But what is this dunya in comparison to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created up there? This dunya is insignificant. This dunya is meaningless to Allah. It means nothing. It is worthless. So worthless, compare it with the sun. The sun is one star. You know more science than me. You'll be able to tell me better. Take this planet Earth and you place it inside the sun and you will be able to place 1.3 million Earths in the sun. 1.3 million Earths in the sun. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. The sun is one star. One star. There are stars out there which are millions of times bigger than the sun. You need, you tell me this, that you need millions, millions and millions, millions of stars, and stars to make one galaxy. galaxy. And then you tell me this, this that there are billions of galaxies out there. Let me tell you on top of this, my friend. After this, whatever you see above, whatever you see above, when you raise your head and you look above, whatever you see above, the zillions and zillions and zillions of galaxies, let me tell you, this is everything there is within the first heaven. Allah. Everything there is within the first heaven. Allah. And Allah is the creator of seven heavens. Allah. Seven heavens. Allah. And the distance between the first heaven and the second heaven is 500 years. Wow. There's a distance that can be covered in 500 years. At what speed? Only Allah knows. Only Allah, Allah knows. knows. But it will take 500 years to get from the first heaven to the, to the second, second heaven. 500 years from the second, second to the third. Third to the fourth. Fourth to the fifth. Fifth to the sixth. Six, 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 six to the seventh. Seven. Every time it will take 500 years. After the seventh heaven. <laughs> oh, this video mess with everyone had muslim or not muslim believe me when i keep see this video it is like make me think a lot so much that i i don't know about quran i am not perfect like i'm say but i want to learn i want to know <laughs> You all read the eyes and Kursi. You all know the eyes and Kursi. After this, you have the Kursi of Allah. You have the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know these seven heavens that we just talked about. In comparison to the Kursi of Allah, they're not existent. They're meaningless. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has given an example in the hadith. Just to give us a little bit of understanding with regards to the seven heavens in comparison to the Kursi of Allah. Take a ring from your finger, take it off, the small ring that you have, and place it, let's say, in a desert, the Sahara Desert. It's the biggest desert in the world. You know that ring that we take off from our fingers and place it in the Sahara Desert? What, so you, what comparison is in between the ring and the Sahara Desert? Nothing. 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 This is squeezing me. Is the ring and the kursi of Allah is the Sahara Desert. After the kursi of Allah, you have the arsh of Allah. You have the arsh of Allah. Again, Rasulullah has given, has explained, so this is what we can understand. Take the ring, place it in the desert. This time, the ring is the kursi and the arsh is the desert. What is the Kursi in comparison to the Arsh of Allah? Nothing. 
Then you have angels which carry the arms of Allah. Their heads are in the seventh heaven and their feet are in the lowest heaven. My friends, then you have the Lord of the Arms. He is beyond the The sight of Allah, who Allah is, what Allah is, the greatness of Allah is beyond them, the comprehension of my little mind. This is the being that you and I are messing with. Alhamdulillah, 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 I'm stopping here. Oh my god, I was, I was seeing this video many times, many, many, many times, and you need to see it many, many times too, yeah? And I hope with this, my reaction was good for you and Muslim people too. Not know me, well, you will know me if you are subscribing, sharing this video, and like and comment. And give me love here, and let it grow with the strong to be success and to make it be like more amazing and thank you for watching and you are amazing for watching me I mean a lot to me and this was touching and I hope that this message be like good to everyone and keep like thinking on the reading and now before it's so too late time we give no chance So yeah, use that. Yeah, peace, love, to put my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Patreon, and my paper donation to grow the channel, and see you next video, inshallah. Thank you, thank you, and assalam. <laughs> I go, I think. <laughs> I think I need to go. <laughs>